Okay, this is a really, really quick video about the 2020 Dodge Charger uh, Road and Track. That's RT Hemi. Uh, I last drove a Dodge Charger way, way, way back in 2006. I rented a V6 Charger, took it to Terrytown, took it to Sleepy Hollow, had a good time. Finally, after, my God, <laughs> Um, after nearly 14 years, I finally have in my possession a rental Hemi charger. Um, and I just want to give a few quick thoughts about the car. It is the same platform. You look around and you see some of the same switch gear from 2005, or was it six, 2006. You have a car that is based roughly on the uh, Mercedes E-Class from 1999, I believe. Um, and the fit and finish is still not perfect. I, you know, seams I can live with, but there are a few touches. I like the, um, the cup holders that you can cover. I kind of like this plastic. It's not the greatest, but it's fingerprint proof. And when you're touching the screen, you can rest your fingers here and, and do things. Uh, just like the Jeep, Jeep Grand Cherokee, you have a very simple layout uh, button selection here. Um, you know, it's no frills. I like the tactile clicking of the volume knob and tuner knob. And they fixed the, um, the electronic shifter with a, I think it's an electronic shifter, but it has a safety button. Can't move it without pressing the button. Um, the steering wheel, I want to quickly go over that. It, it is basically the Jeep Grand Cherokee steering wheel. It went to the gym, it worked out, it came back with um, places to grip at uh, eight and four. So not just not just a bulge at 10 and two, but you can also grip at eight and four. I really like that. Um, the perforated leather is a very nice uh, feature and overall it's a, it's a standard and yet beefy sporty steering wheel. The one thing I don't like, and I won't, I won't demo this, is that when you press the voice command button and you have Android Auto uh, hooked up. It does not activate Android Assistant like it does in my Lincoln. Uh, now, I may be wrong. Please, uh, please shout at me in the, in the comments, but basically, if you press the voice command button, you'll get the uh, U-Touch voice commands. All right, it's time to start this baby up, and let me tell you, I love the Ford GT, the, the 5.0. The Coyote motor is absolutely amazing, but there's something rougher and harsher and more Mad Max about the Hemi, um, which I've never driven, by the way, in any trim. Um, so here we go. It, let me tell you, even in normal mode, this thing is Mad Max. All right, here we go, on. The whole damn car vibrates. It makes such glorious noise. It just, it, you know, Yes, the fit and finish is not great. Uh, you have these extremely bolstered seats. In fact, they're quite narrow. So if you're more than 200 pounds, it's, you're, you might be pinched by the bolstering here. Um, if you're a lady, uh, you'll probably fit just fine. And, you know, I appreciate the lack of Alcantara suede. You don't get that until you step up to the Hellcat or the, uh, the Super B or the Scat Pack, I believe. But here you just get what feels like a cotton fabric. It, it's basically a polyester fabric. The stitching's fine. The, you know, one of the things I didn't like about the Chrysler Sebring and also LeBaron was that the window switch controls were too far back. They were way back here. They're still, they're still far back. If I have to lock the doors, I gotta, I gotta bend my elbow a little bit to reach the door lock controls. But overall, I mean, this is fine and it's been unchanged, I think for 10 years. <laughs> um, I, I just want to briefly take you through the menu because this is just wild. The, you know, this is not a Scat Pack, this is not a Super B, and yet the menus, you have engine, real-time horsepower, tire pressure, coolant temperature, transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, intake air temperature, yes, the functioning air, air intake, and my favorite, real-time engine torque, because that shows you just how much passing power uh, this thing has. You gently hit the throttle and you're going 70 miles per hour and you're just blowing everyone behind. 
and if this car wasn't red, people might think I'm a cop, but it's red, so they just think I'm a, uh, a, a, a Charger bro. Um, someone, someone went 129 miles per hour in this thing. Uh, it was not me, and I am not resetting that because, uh, you know, the budget rent-a-car employee who did 129, uh, you know, deserves his high score preserved. So, uh, so, so, uh, you know, uh, good on you, sir. Well done, sir, uh, whoever you are. Or maybe it was a customer, but 129 in Florida. Uh, or, or maybe Texas. It has Texas plates. But that, that's impressive. And that concludes my overview of the charger well one one thing i'm going to activate android auto and get me the hell out of here so that should do it that should bring me to android auto and you can see the screen is not the most glare resistant but there i am i can rest my fingers here and i can hit android auto and i am going to go to jacksonville international airport one hour four on your way to Jacksonville International Airport a slowdown on West International Speedway Boulevard and then crashes on I-95 North are causing an 18-minute delay oh wonderful you should take the route via I-295 North sure sure and you've Head decided Southeast you've decided for me great okay fantastic well okay day the Daytona 24 is over and I am on my way to Jacksonville to fly home and this has been a, a fun ride um, with my short, There's very, a nine minutes shut up in 1,000 feet. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. Um, it's been a fun time in this car. Uh, and you know what? The, the cylinder deactivation feature is fantastic. Look at that. I mean, I've been driving like a, like a grandpa. At one point, I got 27 miles per gallon. This morning, I had a little fun. I revved up the engine. I got 23.4. I mean, this is a massive... V8. I don't know if it, I, I think there were two displacements for the Hemi. Again, shout at me at the, in the comments. But there's like the 6.2 and then there's the slightly smaller version. This is the smaller version. That's mad. I mean, so yes, if you drive conservatively, if you drive like a grandpa, uh, you can get as good gas mileage as a Lincoln Corsair. Uh, yeah, this also has the uh, Super Track Pack and the Sport Mode. If I hit Super Track Pack, I get a whole rundown of my settings. I can put it in launch mode. I've got, uh, yeah, I, I <laughs> you know, I, I can take this thing to a drag strip, quarter mile, uh, or track. It doesn't have the handling to be on the track. This, this can't really run with the Camaros or the BMWs or even the Mustangs. But it's a massively fun car, and I should stop wa wasting time. And I think I got through this video without stumbling too much. But again, if I did, Comment.